How to insulate using sheets of expanded polystyrene. Difficulty level 1 hammer. It can be tricky to insulate interior walls without compromising living space. The solution is to cover the walls with a thin sheet of expanded polystyrene by quickly gluing these in place. You will need to apply an undercoat on a porous surface if the supports require it. Sheets of expanded polystyrene and special adhesive. Then, depending on the finish, apply a general purpose undercoat before the top coat of paint or use a primer before putting up wallpaper or other wall coverings. You will need a tape measure, a plumb line, a knife with a retractable blade, a wall hanger's measure, a textured paint roller or a knot trowel for applying the adhesive, a rubber roller or a wallpaper smoother. Any old wallpaper should be removed. Fill any holes or cracks to ensure you have a smooth surface. Check the walls for any traces of damp or mold and treat the problem area from the outside. Leave it to dry and then apply a fungicide solution. Sand, wash and rinse any old gloss paintwork to ensure the adhesive sticks properly. If you want to insulate from the ground right up to the ceiling, it's a good idea to remove the skirting boards. If the wall is porous, use a special undercoat for porous surfaces. The sheets of expanded polystyrene to be used for insulation come in 3mm and 6mm thickness in the standard type or with an adhesive primer if you intend to use wallpaper or another wall covering. The sheets come in lengths of 2.5 meters, 80 centimeters wide, and are delivered folded in half. This length will generally allow you to insulate the wall from ground to ceiling. This thin sheet of insulation should not be installed on a ceiling underneath a terrace. Measure the height to be covered. Ensure the drop is straight and vertical. If it is perfect, you can place the first sheet in line with the drop. If the drop is not truly vertical and to avoid a skew start, mark a line that is a few centimeters from the truly vertical line and begin fitting your sheets in line with this marker. Apply adhesive to a width of about 90 centimeters of the wall, exceeding the width of the sheet. It is quicker to use the textured roller than the notched trowel. Place the folded sheet at the top of the wall on the fresh adhesive using the manufacturer's logo as a marker. Unfold the other half towards the bottom. The fresh adhesive will allow slight adjustment if needed. Smooth over the surface right away with a trowel or a hard rubber roller in order to remove any trapped air bubbles. Apply adhesive to another area of 90 cm across, allowing a small overlap as you position it. Since it is not always easy to perfectly align the edges side by side, the sheets often overlap at the two edges. Position the new sheet slightly over the previous one and smooth the surface. Then with the aid of a steel ruler, cut the two edges off the two sheets. Lift the two remaining strips carefully off the wall. Realign the two edges and smooth over the surface. Cut off the final pieces at floor level and the ceiling with the retractable knife. If necessary, mark the wall top and bottom on the sheet. Cut off any excess insulation using the knife, with the sheet sandwiched between a length of wood and the steel ruler. If you notice any flaws in the adjoining sheets, there is an easy solution. Simply fill the gap with adhesive fabric and cover the area with ready mixed filler. Do not use a powder-based product. If you used unfinished insulation sheets, you should apply a coat of adhesive primer 24 hours after putting up the sheets. Allow the primer to dry for 48 hours. If your insulation sheets have already been treated with an adhesive primer, simply allow the adhesive 24 hours to set before continuing to work on them. You use the same technique to fit the wallpaper, but you should allow pre-pasted wallpaper to soak for 10 minutes before putting it on the wall. The coat of primer will allow you to hang all sorts of wallpaper, vinyl and wall cladding on the insulation sheets, providing you use the correct adhesive for each type of wall covering that you have chosen. 
You may also hang glass fiber tissue on top of the insulation sheets and paint on top with acrylic paint once the sheets are dry. You don't need any special preparation if you wish to paint directly on the top of the insulation, but you should only use vinyl or acrylic paint. Never use solvent-based paints such as glass. You can fix tiles directly onto the sheets without any special preparation, provided that you use the correct tile cement. Just one piece of advice. Never use tiles which are bigger than 10 cm by 10 cm. You should wait 4 days before sealing the tiles. If you intend to put tiles onto the insulation, use extra strong adhesive when fixing the insulation sheets. Discreet but effective insulation that can be completely forgotten once you apply the covering of your choice.